Hi, I'm Rusty Wise. And I'm Jermaine Gash. And we're with the Wise News Network in Dallas, North Carolina at Gaston College at the Meyer Center for a very special event. Yes, Relay for Life. Yes, a very special event. The weather is great. They had it here so they could have it inside because of the threat of rain, but it's beautiful out here. A lot of people, yes. a lot of activities getting ready to do the walk yes the sun has came out and we're actually about to do the survivors lab we're super excited so any moment now yes opening ceremonies are coming just had an interview with a clown yes all kind of <laughs> neat, neat stuff so stay tuned guys all right stay tuned all right guys i'm jermaine i'm here with andrea andrea how are you doing today i'm do i'm doing great thank you could you tell us a little bit about what you do uh, for relay for life Yes, so I'm a senior development manager with the American Cancer Society, and I serve Western North Carolina and part of South Carolina. Oh, very nice. And how, how long have you been a part of the organization? So I've been with the organization for a total of 15 years, and actually my very first Relay for Life experience was right here in Gastonia, North Carolina. Wow. Now, I know that uh, sometimes it's in Cleveland County at the fairgrounds. Now, is that the same organization, or is that a different... Yes, so the Cleveland County Relay for Life is going to be held on May 20th. It's actually held at the Dover Foundation YMCA. We'd love to have you guys out. Absolutely. Amazing turnout, by the way. We are looking forward to the uh, ceremony tonight at 845. Um, let's see, what are some other things happening tonight? We have so many great things going on tonight. We have uh, barbecue and grilled corn from our friends at Cataleer. We have Popeye's chicken. We have snow cones. We have face painting. We have a 360 photo booth, which is so much fun to have your picture made. Um, and then it's uploaded to social media. We have bake sales. We have a great silent auction that will be going on until 730 tonight with some wonderful prizes. So we have lots of great things. And the event will conclude tonight with our luminaria ceremony. There will be luminarias placed in honor and memory. And those candles will be lit about 845 tonight. So there's still time to come out. Wonderful. Hopefully you guys are here, an amazing event, an amazing turnout for a great cause. Also, I think folks are finally warming up at that photo booth as well, so. I can't wait to be in the photo booth and you will find me over doing all the line dances shortly. Oh, we will be looking. <laughs> well, thank you for having us and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thank you. Hey there. <laughs> Hey there. Hello. How you doing? Good. And who do we have here? Lampy the Clown. Lampy the Clown. <laughs> nice to meet you, Lampy. Thank you. Thank you. Are you excited tonight? Uh, oh, yes. 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 How many years have you been attending the event? Several years. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what turnout do you expect today? I know that there was a call for some rain, but... Mm -hmm. I expect since it's uh, cl uh, cleared up now, I think it's going to be a great turnout. Awesome. Well, we are so excited, and you look great. Thank you so much. What makes an individual want to be a clown? <laughs> I just am a kid at heart. <laughs> there you go. He's there we a go. kid at heart. Yeah, that's the key, right? Never grow up. Yep, that's right. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Thank you. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to American Cancer Society's Relay for Life of Lincoln and Gaston County. I'm so excited to be here to help celebrate hope tonight, celebrate our caregivers, our survivors, our thrivers. We're all here to help save lives, celebrate lives, and lead the fight against cancer. It's such a great welcome to be here tonight. We're happy to be together again, American Cancer Society Relay for Life of Lincoln and Gaston County. We are better together. Nothing can stop the spirit of the American Cancer Society volunteers and partners and we thank each and every one of you for and your commitment and your support of the cause. I know this event would not be possible without the generosity and support of so many businesses and organizations who stepped up as leaders for our American Society for this Relay for Life event. This time we'd like to send a huge thank you to our 2023 sponsors and partners. Our gold sponsors this year, Robert Bosch Tool Corporation, American American Woodmark, who's got a over here. Our silver sponsors are Kettler North America. They're located over here. First Federal Savings Bank. Piedmont Lithium. Our brown sponsors this year are Lincoln Animal Hospital, Bloom, Caramont Health, 
They're set up inside here to share negative to survivors. Thank Caramont, Timken, Owens Corning, Hearing Healthcare Centers, A Ray of Hope, At the Care, North Carolina, American Woodmark, Ava's team, Miss Gastonia team. Where's she at? She's gonna be singing for us here in a minute. All right, yeah. Beth Page Lutheran Church, they're over here. Bloom Run Club, Caramont Health, Cal North America, Cedar Grove Lutheran Church, they're set up over there. Covenant, Bible, Lincoln, Fighting for Dania, Fishing for a Cure, two fishing for a cure. They like to fish. Florissant Creations, Gaston College Rhino Nation, Gaston County Public Library, G. Massey Elementary School, all right. GECMS, Rodriguez, all right. Highland School of Technology. They provide a lot of volunteers today to help set up the luminaries and all the work, so we certainly appreciate them. Holy Cross Lutheran Church, just keep for a cause, just cheaping for a cause. Capita Sorority, Knocking Out Cancer, Laboratory United Methodist Church, Lay Laurie and Associates, EXP Realty, Lincoln County Committee, Locked and Loaded, Messiah Methodist, Northbrook, all right, Messiah, they're over there, Northbrook Blue Jays, Owen Corning, Gastonia, Piedmont Community Charter School. All right, they've been helping volunteers as well. Robert Bosch Tool, Rock Spring School, Rowdy Two. Here's one, Stacy Squad. Everybody from Stacy Squad, yeah. Stress Free Home Care of Stanley and the Pope Sisters. And again, once again, thanks to DJ Wavy Williams for donating his time, WSCG 91.7 to Gaston College. Uh, also, we have a signature sponsor, Carolina Federal Credit Union. And of course, Gaston College is our host and generous sponsor for all we do. Let's have another cheer for all of our sponsors. So at this time, I'd like to call uh, Ava come up front and do our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was with John Dankoff, the organizer for the event. And John, can you tell us a little bit about the event and how like, both counties joined together? Sure. Uh, for years, Relay for Life in, in Gaston and Lincoln County has been very big events. But uh, through the years and when COVID hit, things, of course, settled down. So we had to postpone the relays for a while. So when we came back together, we thought it would be more beneficial that the two counties join together and, as one relay. And it's been very beneficial. It's worked out really well since we've done this. Uh, sure, there's some that still would love to have their own Lincoln County event. I'm from Lincoln County myself, but uh, we, we find there's, there's more numbers. Where we can just be more, show more of awareness and have a greater impact if we all come together. Now, is this, how many events have you had since like 2020? Well, well I guess since COVID hit. I think, 
I think I believe this is our third event here in, in Gaston College. Okay. Other counties, I think, uh, throughout the region have had events as well. But as far as this combined Gaston Lincoln event, it's first time. Do you have the survivor count here tonight? Do you know how many is here? I do not. I haven't got that yet. They, the survivors pre registered so I'll have to ask Andrew what that total number is. But I would say it was well over 100 survivors who showed up tonight, and as well as their caregivers. We think that caregivers are, survivors, of course, are important, and the caregivers are there to support those survivors. They're the ones that were with them throughout, so we honor our caregivers as well as our survivors. And anyone is a caregiver. It doesn't have to be someone that you're married to or spouse or whatever. Anyone that is involved when takes care of a survivor. Well, thank you, John, for the interview. Anything else you'd like to say? No, I am just uh, appreciate everyone's turnout. Uh, certainly, uh, we're fighting the fight and earning, raising some money. And there's, even though cancer has not stopped, we know that now it's not a death sentence like it used to be, that there is survivors have hope that there can be a cure, and there will be a cure. Hey guys, I'm Jermaine with the Wise News Network, and I'm here with Linda Ray. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. This is a wonderful turnout today. It smells so good. How long have you been coming to the Relay for Life? Since 2009. Since 2009. And I noticed that you are a survivor. Amazing. Thank you. It's so good to have you here. And could you tell us a little bit about your journey? Well, about five years ago, I had a spot on my head. And it was just a little tiny spot the size of a pinhead. And I went to the doctor and they diagnosed it as squamous cell carcinoma. So I had to have Mohs surgery on the top of my head. So that was 2009. Oh my goodness. Well, it's, such a, it's now 2023. That's such a blessing. Oh my goodness. What are some things that you're looking forward to tonight? I just being free and happy and interacting with other cancer survivors. And are you from Gaston County? Yes. yes. Well, I know that around 845, they're actually... Um, there's going to be, the lights are going to be turned on, correct? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The luminaria, they'll light up all the luminaria for, you You dedicate a bag, which is a luminaria to somebody in memory of or in honor of, and we just light them all up. I think they said we have like 500. Yeah, there was a lot. They go all the way around the block. Don't they? 500 of them. About 500. Wow. And are you here with any family today? No, I don't have any family left. Oh, well, we're all family here, so. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Have an amazing day. Hey guys, I'm Jermaine. I'm here with Stacy Simpson, an honorary chairperson. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Wonderful, a beautiful event, great turnout. Yes. The food smells, ama smells amazing. It tastes amazing. Oh my goodness, what are some things that you're looking forward to tonight? Uh, everything, I've got my kids here. They're in the corner so you can see that they've already um, rummaged the candy yes. and the balloons and all the prizes and we're going to go play games, oh, just the whole event. And could you tell us a little bit about your personal journey? Yeah, yeah, sure can. So I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 29. My daughter was six months old, so that was a struggle, battling and raising babies. Um, I found out before I even finished treatment that it had progressed to my bones and my ovaries, so then it was a stage four diagnosis. And at that point, you know, I thought, yeah, okay, this is it. This is, you know, it's over. And it's not. I'm two years out. I'm doing well. I've met women that, I mean, 10, 20, 30 years, you know, I mean, so I'm, I'm doing well. You know, I'm yes. defying the odds. I'm not a statistic. I know that's right. And that's a blessing. And you look amazing. Thank also, you. what are some things that you did, you know, to stay encouraged that may help someone else going through? Um, I, I connected with other people. Like I said, you know, I met women that have been around for a lot longer than that because, you know, at first I was like, okay, well, statistics say that I'm not even going to be around in a year. And then I met women that, you know, like I said, 10, 20, 30 years. So I was like, well, it can be done. It is being done and it can continue to be done. And I educated myself. You know, I'm a nurse, so I knew a little bit about a little bit, but I educated myself just a little bit more so I could advocate for what I wanted and what I needed and make sure that I got what I needed. Amazing. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what's happening around 845 tonight? The luminari ceremony, is that what you're referring to? So that's where we light everybody on the stairs. You can see that's, that's our honorary ceremony. So we do a lot tonight for the survivors. And tonight is for those that passed before us, and we honor them. So people donated. They wrote names on these, and we're going to light them all up at 845 tonight. It's a beautiful ceremony. Oh, I cannot wait. This is amazing. Continue doing an amazing job. So many happy faces here. Um, thank you so much for speaking with us. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. All right, guys, it's Jermaine. I'm back, and I'm here with... Beth York. Beth York. It is so nice to meet you. How are you doing today? 
Doing well, having a great time out here at Relay for Life. You have a great turnout for a great cause. Could you tell us a little bit about what you do? Sure, I am a cancer survivor myself, but I also work with the American Cancer Society and Living Cancer Institute. So we've got a really great relationship with the American Cancer Society. We've known them for years and I really support their mission, both personally and professionally. Um, you can't go wrong with supporting the American Cancer Society. They're really here for our cancer survivors. Uh, I know firsthand as well, but I also know that they support services and research right here in our local community. So we're really excited about about what's happening here today. It's a great time to honor our other survivors and really make a community impact in the fight against cancer. Yes, wonderful. Could you tell us a little bit about what goes into these events? Oh, it's so much of a community outpouring. So it's a wonderful time for businesses, local leaders, um, advocates, and cancer patients and their families to come out and really come together. So we commemorate and honor, we remember, um, and we also raise those super important funds that help support the mission. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having uh, taking the time to speak with us. We're looking forward to this amazing event tonight. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody. We're here to stand by your side and with our numbers, raise awareness about the disease and continue to wreck COVID on the lives of so many people in our community here. I would like to introduce one of our survivors tonight. She's our honorary chair, Dr. Stacy Simpson. So they gave me a little bit of a script here, but I'm just, I think I'm just gonna speak from my heart tonight. So, my name is Stacy Simpson. I actually work here at the college. I teach nursing, so extra shout out, guest in college, go Rhinos! Woo I am now 32 years old. I'm two in two years into this cancer journey. I have um, stage four metastatic breast cancer, and I'm doing well, defying the odds, and I'm gonna keep doing it. And. <laughs> I want to thank you all for coming, all of the support, everything you do, because bottom line is the American Cancer Society helps support us and our families, and it helps support research, and research is the reason I am alive today. There are medications that I have available to me that weren't even available five years before, and it's because of people like you and events like this that this is made possible, so thank you. You know that through the American Cancer Society, we have served 3.2 million patients in the last decade. 16.9 million cancer survivors are alive today. This is because of you. Progress is being made, but the fight is not over. When you're racing towards a cure, you don't stop halfway. Did you know that thanks to the dollars we raise a day, if you or someone you know is facing any type of cancer and needs help, the American Cancer Society to provide information, answers, and emotional support. Our toll-free number is 1-800-227-2345. But if you've been around a while, you know it is 1-800-ACS-2345. 227-ACS for those old folks that have the touch tone phone <laughs> is available. At, and that service is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. There's been people that have been diagnosed on Christmas Eve that's called that number on Christmas because they couldn't sleep and wanted some answers and were able to get answers. So please write that number down somewhere. Remember that number. Go to cancer.org website to find that number and you can talk to a real live person 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So tonight, we brought this inside here because, you know, there was a threat for rain and if you want to rain in your air, you just plant a relay and that normally, I've been doing this for almost 30 years now. And uh, the farmers in Lincoln say that if they want rain, they hang a Relay for Life t-shirt out and they're going to get rain. So, but uh, we thought we'd better save some sorry and I think it's going to be really nice inside here just like we've got plenty of stuff not only here, but also come inside. We have a silent auction inside. We've got other teams set up inside, just something going on all over the place tonight. So please enjoy the food, music, and don't forget to keep those bids coming in for the silent auction because all the money raised tonight will go directly to this Relay for Life event. I ask that you please all please respect the meaning of the ceremony embodied by remaining silent.
This is a time for us to reflect on the lives of those we've lost, remembering their friendship, love, and contribution to our lives. It's a time for us to reflect on how cancer has touched us personally. It's a time for us to look inside ourselves with quiet reflection to find hope. No matter what our experience with cancer has been, we all share the hope that we will one day live in a world where our friends, families, neighbors, and coworkers will never face a cancer diagnosis or endure the sadness, stress, and uncertainty that cancer can bring. More than 30 years ago, a man had a vision. His vision was a world without cancer. Little did this man know that the track he ran in the darkness would soon transform to a field of brilliant luminaria, each one representing a name, a face, a smile, and a treasured memory. And as each year passed, more people took to the track. The flickering light became this man and those who journeyed his journey, and in time, that one man's vision became a reality.